Two tunes in this video, the first one for a bridge, the second one for a ruined chapel. Craigillachie Bridge was built in 1814. The designer, Thomas Telford. One of the senior builders was James McInnes, who was Marshall's son-in-law, so Marshall had that connection with it. He had a second connection in that he was asked to play at the opening ceremony. And of course the, the connection that everyone locally there had was a bridge which made access to the village of Craigillachie much, much easier. They were all pleased to see it. Marshall wrote this about it. Craigillachie Bridge is now finished, a beautiful piece of workmanship. It is a 150 foot span and the iron work above extends to 170 feet and upwards. The approaches to it are also beautiful and will be of the greatest utility and convenience, not only to us who are immediately concerned, but to the whole country in general. I hope that you, he was writing his son, Colonel William, I hope that you will soon have the pleasure of galloping across it and the additional pleasure of seeing your sister and friends on the other side of the spade. I'll show you the bridge. I don't know how well it will show up, but here it is. And you can still see it to this day. When he played at the um, opening ceremony, Marshall wrote, had written a new Strathspey called Craigellachie Brig, and it's a fast one and a cheerful one. The first fast one I've played, I think, for you. And here it is. The second tune, as I said, commemorates an old, disused, ruined, in fact demolished, chapel. William Marshall had a strong and close friendship with a man called George Gordon, who was, I don't know whether he was connected with the family or not, but he was a parish priest, a Roman Catholic priest. Um, difficult to be a Roman Catholic, and particularly to be a priest, in those days of the early 19th century, because um, the Roman Catholic Stuart cause had lost in the Jacobite um, uprising, rebellion, many years before. New laws had been introduced um, to squash the whole thing, and Catholicism was uh, discriminated against, quite simply. So the priest, George Gordon, continued to, to do his work, but he did it tactfully and quietly and unobtrusively. Marshall liked him very much. They stayed on neighbouring farms, Marshall at Keithmore, um, the priest George Gordon at Keithack. And at Keithack there had once been a um, much uh, loved chapel, Chapel Keithack, which was, it is thought, destroyed after the Battle of Culloden. None of it is there now. The priest was very helpful to, Gore, to uh, Marshall because Marshall wrote, uh, played everything from memory. He had a, a, a very remarkable musical memory, but he was not comfortable or familiar with musical notation, whereas the priest was. And so, when the 1822 book was prepared for the publisher to be taken down to Edinburgh, Gordon and Marshall spent many, many hours, many afternoons, many evenings going through it and getting everything down on paper. And so in that sense, he was very important, William Marshall. And this is the tune, it's called Chapel Keith, like, is this is the tune that Marshall wrote remembering his friend. 